The World Peace Pageant 2019 presents What is your view on nuke nationalism? Moment ago, it was a beautiful blue sky. And blue sky changed to be grayish color. Silent. Gradually, it changed to be red. The red is fire and blood. The end is black. When the atomic bomb was dropped on Hiroshima, I was eight years old and playing in the schoolyard with my classmate. Suddenly, there was a flash of light, followed by a tremendous blast. In an instant, my life had changed forever. On my way back home from school, the black rain began to fall. We ducked into an air shelter to wait until the rain stopped. My father, who was working near Ground Zero, came home late that night. He suffered from diarrhea, nausea, and pain from his injuries. His internal organs were also damaged by the radiation poisoning. He died 10 days after the bomb was dropped. My father was cremated in Takas Park. His body was placed on top of a futon mat and my father covered with a white seat. Then, gasoline was poured onto it. Suddenly, the flames flew high up in the air. No, no, don't burn my father. This is my saddest memory in my entire life. My mission as a witness is to plant seeds, wishing no more Hiroshima and of peace in many people's hearts. Nuclear weapons must be abolished from this planet. I hope my seeds will create the buds of a peaceful society that will bloom and create a flowering of peace throughout the world.帝国となりました。ただいまから広島市原爆死没者慰霊式並びに平和記念式を行います。ただいま奉納いたしております。原爆死没者名簿には393名のお名前が記されています。昨年までに奉納いたしました方々と合わせますと31万4118名となります。平和宣言8時15分メモクラム一瞬の先行摂氏100万度を超える火の玉からの強烈な放射線と熱戦そして猛烈な爆風
立ち上ったキノコ雲の下で何の罪もない多くの命が奪われ町は破壊し尽くされました熱いよ痛いよ潰れた家の下から母親に助けを求め叫ぶ子どもの声水を水をください息絶え絶えのうめき声うなり声人が焦げる周期の中赤い肉をむき出しにして亡霊のごとくさまよう人々随所で降った黒い雨脳裏に焼き付いた地獄絵図と放射線障害は生き延びた被爆者の心身を虫歯に続け今なお苦悩の根源となっています昨年核兵器禁止条約の成立に貢献したアイキャンがノーベル平和賞を受賞し被爆者の思いが世界に広まりつつありますその一方で今世界では自国第一主義が台頭し核兵器の近代化が進められるなど各国間に東西冷戦期の緊張関係が再現しかねない状況にあります。Peace Memorial Ceremony 2019 will be held tomorrow in Hiroshima.One day before the ceremony, it is an honor to transmit from Los Angeles the following message of Mayor Kazumi Matsui dedicated to our event. Message from the Mayor of Hiroshima. It is an honor and a pleasure to send this message on the occasion of the World Peace Pageant 2019. What is your view on nuke nationalism? At 8 15 a.m. on August 6, 1945, absolute evil, an atomic bomb. Exploded in the sky over Hiroshima. Under the roiling mushroom cloud, the lives of many innocent civilians were taken, and the city of Hiroshima was reduced to ashes. The scenes of hell burnt into their memory. And the radiation eating away at their minds and bodies are even now sources of pain for those who manage to survive. After 74 years, there remains around 14,000 nuclear warheads in the world, and the likelihood is growing that what we saw in Hiroshima after the explosion that day will return by intent or accident. Plunging people into agony. Furthermore, certain countries are blatantly proclaiming self centered nationalism and modernizing their nuclear arsenals, rekindling tensions that had eased with the end of the Cold War. If the human family forgets history or stops confronting it, we could again commit a terrible error. That is precisely why we must continue talking about Hiroshima, and efforts to eliminate nuclear weapons must continue based on intelligent actions by leaders around the world. In 2017, the Nobel Peace Prize went to ICANN. An organization that contributed to the formation of the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons. Thus, the spirit of the Hibakusha is spreading throughout the world. With the importance of learning the reality of the atomic bombings and working for a world without nuclear weapons having been recognized once again, world leaders must negotiate in good faith. The elimination of nuclear arsenals, which is a legal obligation under the Nuclear Non Proliferation Treaty. Furthermore, 
they must strive to make the treaty on the prohibition of nuclear weapons a milestone along the path to a nuclear weapon-free world. For leaders to focus their reason and insight on abolishing nuclear weapons, civil society must respect diversity, build mutual trust, and make nuclear abolition a value shared by all humankind. In this context, it is truly significant that you have organized this event to call for a peaceful world free of nuclear weapons, and I extend to you my deepest respect. The city of Hiroshima, together with over 7,700 Mayors for Peace member cities from 163 counties and regions, intends to create an environment to encourage world leaders to take such actions. I would like to ask all of you to continue to strive with us to eliminate the absolute evil that is nuclear weapons and to realize a peaceful world. In closing, I extend my best wishes for the good health and happiness of all concerned. August 5th, 2019, Matsui Kazumi, Mayor, the City of Hiroshima. Responding to the Mayor of Hiroshima, Mr. Kazumi Matsui, and all peace lovers, our World Peace Pageant proposes all leaders in the world, including President Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, to visit Hiroshima to touch the heart of Hibakusha and realize the reality of the atomic bomb, as President Obama did. Because the abolition of nuclear weapons is not an issue of some countries, but also it is the issue of all humankind and the entire planet. I saw a tiny white spot, but somehow, a couple of seconds later, extremely, very powerful flash. Moment ago, it was a beautiful blue sky. And blue sky changed to be grayish color. Silent. Gradually, it changed to be red. The red is fire and blood. The end is black. That's burned tree, house, human being. It's just like a charcoal color. Remember, Hibakusha. I want you to memorize the word Hibakusha, which means atomic one survivor. I'm the one called the last person to Hibakusha. I don't want anybody to call Hibakusha. If anybody has a question, young generation, anybody. Come on. Um, how's everybody doing? My name is Dan. And uh, I'm just hoping that humanity doesn't, I mean, that we, we, we never have to repeat ourselves again. And I, and I think that, um, I think that um, this, is a, this was a bad time in American history. And I think that um, retribution should be, uh, I think the, the U.S. should uh, always remember this. You know, and let this be a lesson throughout the world, and uh, understand that um, with bombs, it's, it's, it, it kills, and it's uh, and it's cruelty. You know, and um, and this is something that we we really don't need in the world today. established institutions and treaties that work to avoid war and aspire to restrict and roll back and ultimately eliminate the existence of nuclear weapons. As the mayor of Hiroshima said, 
certain countries are blatantly proclaiming self-centered nationalism and modernizing their nuclear arsenals. Please let us know your view on this nuke nationalism for our website, www.liveforum.org. Thank you for watching us, the World Peace Pageant 2019. The memory of the morning of August 6, 1945, must never fade. The United States and Japan forged not only an alliance, but a friendship that has won far more for our people than we could ever claim through war. An international community established institutions and treaties that work to avoid war and aspire to restrict and roll back and ultimately eliminate the existence of nuclear weapons. And yet that is not enough. For we see around the world today how even the crudest rifles and barrel bombs can serve up violence on a terrible scale. We must change our mindset about war itself.